Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elliot Ware, and normally I make different fitness, uh, workout content, uh, gear more to just being in the gym, lifting weights, building muscle, stuff like that. Um, this video is gonna kind of be a little bit different. Uh, it kind of delves into another one of my hobbies, and that is reading. And today we are going to be going over Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter by the legendary, the iconic Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. There's a book right there. I highly recommend um, y'all picking this book up and reading it. But yeah, everybody knows who 50 Cent is and he wrote an incredible book. It's, he calls it a self-help book and, and I agree with that. It's a great book just on uh, developing as a person, uh, getting a better mindset on life to really just be successful and achieve your goals. He has written a book previously. He wrote the book, The 50th Law, I believe it's called. I haven't got a chance to read that book, but I will um, in the near future. He wrote that book with Robert Greene, who also wrote uh, The 48 Laws of Power, I believe. Um, but this book is completely his own, you know, his own words, his own story, um, and a really good book. Uh, so if you want to read it, or if you want to check out this book, but want to know a little bit more about it, uh, stay tuned. It's a really good book and we're going to dive into it. Okay, so real quick before we get into the book, I'd really appreciate it if you at least give this video a like if you enjoy it, as well as subscribe for uh, other videos, mostly workout videos, um, and I'll start covering more books that I've read, as well as like picking up more books to read. And yeah, also if there's a book that you want me to read or check out, just drop it in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I took away from this book and he is actually a chapter is being fearless and specifically being a fearless hustler. So uh, Curtis Jackson really talks about um, how from his days in the streets, he had to be fearless to just be out there, be hard, be on the streets and everything. And he had to be the hustler part too. And I feel like where that kind of applies to really just anybody is you have to be fearless. Um, you have to be willing to take risks and you can't be scared to, to achieve your dreams or to achieve your goals. And also the hustling mentality. And he talks about the hustle mentality throughout the entirety of the book, you know, just working, hustling, being just really grinding for what you want, whether that be another topic that Curtis Jackson talks about in the book is the power of perception. And basically that's how people perceive you. And he talks about just having a very positive image about yourself um, so that when people see you, they'll think of you in a higher light. I can recall a story from the book, whenever 50 Cent would go on tour, he would bring you know, his entourage with him, his homies or whatever. And there would be times when he'd have to check his homies because they were getting out of line and it was throwing off the perception that he wanted to display, you know what I'm saying, to the record labels that he wanted to see him as more than just a street thug. He wanted to see him as being professional and being really about it. The power of perception is very real in everybody's lives. We all want to be perceived as somebody who's reliable, somebody who's dependable, and we all should strive, in my opinion, to have a very positive image about ourselves. But it all begins with projecting that image, so projecting the positivity that you want other people to see in you. Another topic that he talks about is competition. Um, and he praises competition non-stop in this book and he stands on just competition really brings out the best in each other in whoever is competing and I agree with that you know I know competition can kind of get a bad rap sometimes because you know that has to be a winner and a loser whatever and but he recalls stories in the book as well where he may have lost at some point or in some perspective but really gained uh, in another perspective and that all goes back to really just the concept of competition itself and you need that opponent to push you to be yourself. Um, he talks about just competing with other rappers, whether it be in sales or whether it be in profits and how that competition really drove him to outdo his opponent and really starting with mindset and really starting with that mindset, he was able to achieve uh, a lot of success. So the next topic is evolve or die. And this basically goes back to, we all have to adapt at some point. Specifically in the book, he talks about obviously going from a street dude to this very successful rapper. And now today, you know, he's a serious TV executive. And it all really comes from just having this evolve or die mentality. And that throughout your life, you have to evolve and adapt and really become new in some aspects. And in 50 Cent's case, there came a point where he knew that just through the nature of hip hop, it's a young man's game. And there would be at some point where he would have to, you know, move on from just 
purely rapping and that's what he did by you know going into television and having a very and having a very successful show like power and bmf also in the book curtis jackson talks about knowing your value and this is something that's very important because if you want to be successful if you want to go out and achieve your goals and dreams you have to really know your value knowing how much you're worth um he talks about in the book obviously working with record labels and working with like executives in the music industry that would often negotiate contracts and obviously the people giving out the money want to give out as least as possible and the people getting the money want to get as much as possible and it goes into just negotiating knowing your worth knowing what you can really bring to the table and also in the book as well he talks about you don't have to if you start in, in something whether it be a job business or whatever like you're not gonna get immediately what you're worth, but that goes back to hustling, putting in the time and effort that over time, your worth grows and you become aware of that growth and aware of that growth in value and worth over time. And then it's all about knowing that as you're going throughout your journey. Another concept is building a team and the right people around you to really execute whatever kind of game plan you're doing. I'm sure this is something that entrepreneurs can really relate to just having different people on their team to handle different tasks. And that's something I'm trying to just really get the concept of now, just building a team, getting people that are smarter than me to help me in other ways. And that's a concept, building a team that I'm trying to just learn a lot more about, learning, you know what I'm saying, who to trust, where to go for information and who's out there smarter than me or more well versed than me in a certain area and how can i learn from them and even going on to just owning your own business uh, who you have in place around you whether it be somebody in accounting or your lawyer or your employees just having a solid team to really help you you know what i'm saying get to your goals and get to your dreams and ultimately be successful another topic and one that i uh, highly agree with as well is writing it down and 50 Cent talks about that a lot as well. You know what I'm saying? Just start with writing down your dreams and writing down your goals because when you do that, you're putting it on paper. Now it exists. And he talks about how when you write something down, you're more likely to remember it and you're more likely to execute on it. And that's something that I began to apply in my life as well, whether it be just uh, my video ideas or just my different thoughts, my different goals, definitely just writing them down um, so you can see it, you can execute it. And again, like, when you write it down, it becomes tangible and it becomes, you know, exist. Curtis Jackson also talks about giving back in the book and how it's important to, you know, be philanthropic and just be charitable. And he talks about his G Unity Foundation to where he just gives back underprivileged kids throughout the country. He talks about sending money back to South Jamaica, Queens, where he's from, to really develop that area, build parks you know just so the youth have something to do and he points out a specific uh trip to africa where he saw the third world conditions that you know what i'm saying africans were living in and now he's part of you know a worldwide initiative to just provide meals to the people in those countries and i think that's very admirable and that's something that throughout time maybe when i build my wealth build my influence a little bit more that's what I want to do is just give back to the people around me and, and the places where I come from. Uh, Curtis Jackson also talks about accountability and this is a very important topic as well and something that I feel like a lot of people kind of run from accountability, run from responsibility and that's something that you shouldn't do at all. You should embrace accountability and you should embrace people that hold you accountable and you should embrace holding yourself accountable. Um, whether that be with your goals, whether that be with your dreams, anything you're trying to achieve, you have to be held accountable to it in order to execute. In the book, 50 Cent talks about, you know, these aspiring rappers that would reach out to him, you know, in order to cut a deal or get that song on the radio, just different music business, stuff like that. There was one instance where a fellow rapper blamed 50 Cent for him not achieving the success that he had. When you get into the mentality of blaming others, that takes away the accountability from yourself. Therefore, robbing yourself of any kind of growth and any kind of like progress that you would give yourself by holding yourself accountable. So uh, accountability is a big topic. It's very important, you know what I'm saying, with achieving your goals and dreams and ultimately being successful. And the final topic, the final thing that I took away from this book is the entitlement trap. And that's a chapter in the book and he talks about how some people feel entitled, some people feel that off the rip they deserve this amount of money, or that they're just entitled to something from somebody else. 
and he says, and I also believe in too, that nobody really owes you anything. You have to like earn everything that you have. Um, if people are kind enough to help you out in your journey, that's fantastic. But at the end of the day, you can't be entitled and you have to understand that in order to see that things aren't just entitled to you and things aren't going to be given to you. And he talks about how raising his son, his son thought that he was entitled to certain clothes, money, cars, and, and Curtis Jackson says, you're not entitled to that just because I'm your father. And he tries to instill in his son's uh, concept of just hard work, being a fearless hustler that uh, Curtis talks about in the book. All right, man, that's my rap on uh, Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Again, a really great book, 10 out of 10. I recommend this for anybody that's just trying to improve as a person, uh, be successful. Again, my name is Elliot Ware. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to give it a like if you did, and also subscribe for more content, and drop any kind of books that you want me to cover, read down in the comments. But uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.